Hey, what's up everybody? Ali Tarafter back with a brand new video. So today we're basically going to be talking about the differences between traditional disputes, you know, the FCRA standard of doing things and the difference between trying to challenge them specifically in reference to getting a correction. This topic is very popular. Uh, by, by not default, for example, people are not specifically looking for this specific thing, but it's popular because of the fact that it actually does create a level of uncertainty when you're trying to dispute your items and you're trying to challenge it. Uh, the popularity comes from a series of different things. The first is that the popularity is essentially triggered uh, when individuals are going about trying to fix their personal credit and they come across a specific situation where now all of a sudden, they're getting a very different type of resistance from the credit bureaus. More specifically, you know, they're saying that these items are essentially has been disputed in the past. Uh, they can no longer reinvestigate these type of situations. And of course, why uh, people are actually suffering from this. Uh, now, when you come to think of it, right, when, you, when you're trying to fix your personal credit, the biggest thing you need to understand is the route in which you have to take the attack strategy that you have to concentrate on. And the reason I tell you this is because today we're going to discuss the differences between a traditional Additional disputing process which in turn a lot of people go through enforcement process right without knowing so what I mean by that is you have these specific sets of FCRA rules and regulations which were intended to be used for enforcement purposes but rather not for specific correction level of uh, things right the type of challenges that we've gone through you know in the past specifically when you've been looking at my videos and I talked about the PI minimizer technique, the item anchoring method, as well as the 15 day power surge, these are correction level strategies, not necessarily enforcement level strategies. So you as a customer have the right to get information corrected on your credit report. So you have to address the credit bureaus like a regular customer rather than a lawyer. So when you do so, the correction element comes from an angle in which you understand factually there are issues on your credit report that violates the way that is being representing of your character. It is injurious to your character. It's essentially causing you harm because you're missing on financial opportunities due to these errors. So the correction element involves the fact that you have to literally dig deep into your credit reports. You have to find specific issues with your credit report, dialogue that as a, as a, as a basis of communication, and then try to get that resolved with the credit reporting agency. If you ignore that, if you ignore the element of what you have to do and you start going through the enforcement route, which is the other way that a lot of people have doing have been doing lately, is that they take the information from templates. They list all sorts of sections of the FCRA and then they expect the credit reporting agencies to respond to them on a level where, yeah, sure, we can fix it or basically, hey, I don't understand your, your stuff is not very specific. And the reason why they can get away with that is because now you literally have to note down specific accounts deep down and say, look, there are certain factual errors on my credit reports. We see that it's, it's basically there. Uh, you know, taking this factual errors and essentially breaking them down bit by bit into very simplified formats of essentially here are some of the errors that I see. Can you please look into this and try to get this resolved as soon as possible? Hence, you know, so that I can move forward with my financial journey. That is basically a correction adjustment, right? So again, just to recap, the correction side is essentially finding factual errors in your credit reports and essentially taking that information and challenging them bit by bit. The enforcement side is once they don't actually respect what you're asking for them to correct and they're actually giving you a lot of challenges and issues and they're, they're basically giving you a kickback, that is the time where you actually have the right to use enforcement. You know, like for example, the facts that you didn't correct these, you're actually liable under the FCRA for the following things. And if you intend on going by the enforcement route, obviously you have to lawyer up and you have to follow the suit that you need to because your first attempt has already been taken care of. This is something called a private right of action. Now, I'm not a lawyer, so I'm disclosing this to you guys for your information and education. But a private right of action is essentially saying if you want to go ahead and sue the credit bureaus, you must have already tried or attempted to dispute certain stuff with them or at least have tried to attempt a resolution with them. And at which point, you know, when we tried our correction side of things, factually taking information on your credit reports and you know, asking them to correct that, that in itself constitute that you've already tried to resolve that with them. So moving forward, the enforcement side will allow you to go ahead and use the FCO rules and regulations when you're filing suit against them to get those uh, those items rectified. And you have to have a specific demand from your lawyer. You have to tell them the goal is not to have the FCR walk away and say, we'll fix that tomorrow, but rather 
uh, an injunctive relief to the point where the court has to ensure that this is followed up on and the judge has to be responsible to ensure that the actual stuff has been taken care of. And if it's not, then you have the ability to go back to that judge to ensure that the enforcement of the FCR rules and regulations have been properly implied. So that is the enforcement side of things. Now, the reason I'm telling you this, guys, and of course sharing this video with you, is because lately I've got a lot of people asking me, uh, which route do I take? You know, what information do I have to use? Uh, you know, what system should I follow to fix my personal credit? And basically, those are some of the systems that you need to follow. If you don't follow these type of systems, if you don't follow the, these, these basic principles and these rules, you're actually going to get stuck. So you have to understand the difference between a correction, which is essentially very critical when it comes to fix your personal credit, and of course, the enforcement side of things. When you want a lawyer up, when you're serious, you want to literally sue them, uh, ensure that your correction side has been you know, handled first. And typically, you can actually do this after 90 days. You don't want to start right off the get-go because they haven't really responded or corresponded to you uh, and failed to do so. You have to take your time to really take the, the measures in your own hands to get them to look into the questions that you ask factually about your credit report. Break it down piece by piece and then ask. I've asked you multiple times. You know, you never answered my question. And if they continuously fail to do so, get your state representative on board. Attorney General's office usually does a great job at this. And don't go at them at the FCRA enforcement side. Go at them on a business level, essentially injurious to your character, inability to follow through, negligence, things that actually matter on a business level that is hurting your ability to go out there and get some financing or use your credit to leverage on certain scenarios, such as getting an apartment and so on and so forth. It's actually causing you financial harm. So use your state representative, your congressman, if you want to go to your you know, state attorney general's office, whatever is necessary to get the specific level of corrections adjusted properly first prior to going through an enforcement route, which is the FCR rules and regulations. Now, this may sound confusing to many, so I want you to really understand what I'm trying to tell you here. So our strategy in this credit repair channel and the journey that we've been going through so far has been based on a correction side. You'd never see me cite an FCR rule unless otherwise it was necessary under enforcement regulations. Once you've tried to adjust those based on the techniques that I teach, the PI minimizer technique, the item anchoring, which is essentially taking the personal details that were removed and attempting to cross-reference them with the negative items that are still on your credit reports and getting those taken care of as well. And then the power surge was essentially getting agencies involved to supervise and essentially enforce the rules and regulations that are necessary to get the appropriate adjustments in your credit reports. That is the way to go about fixing your personal credit on your own. Um, again, if you want to go the FCRA route and you want to enforce those rules and regulations, uh, you know, go in through the FCRA enforcement uh, structure. Now, one thing I want to advise everybody is don't expect a punitive payout because you can enforce financial damage and it can be in the hundreds of thousands. Don't expect that. At best, you can expect the fact that the credit reporting agencies will follow through based on the judgment uh, and the court, uh, you know, rulings on the judge's uh, ability to get that situation taken care of for you. Uh, but if lucky, obviously, if you collected evidence of financial damage and it's really serious uh, and it really caused harm to you, then those are the situations that obviously can be presented in court factually by your attorney, of course, if you're represented properly uh, to get the best outcomes for yourself. So I hope this video gave you some insights on the differences between a correction and enforcement and the reason I believe that you have to start with the correction side first because you have a lot more weight on a business level than to follow the templated structures of enforcement by the FCRA. Once you're comfortable with that, obviously go ahead and get those corrections taken care of. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel you haven't subscribed yet consider subscribing and turning the notifications on to all so every time there's videos like these you'll be the first to know and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up do you have specific questions in regards to today's video whether it be on a correction side or the enforcement side and if so leave it down below in the comment section check out the links in the description if you're interested in learning credit on your own and you want to take the course the ultimate personal credit mastery 2.0 is in the description of this video on the, on the uh, bottom of the video here so with that said, this is your guide and mentor, Ali Tarapta. Catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.